What's going on everyone? So today I'm going to be taking a look at the Fortnite Jazz vs Victory Series Tomato Head. So let's get into it. So this is my first Jazzers video that I'm making. Jazzers, if you guys don't know, is a company that makes many other action figures for toy lines. And this one, obviously, the Victory Series for Fortnite. They also have many other Fortnite toys. I also have a couple of them, but I haven't done any, like, unboxings or reviews on them. So they also have five other figures, uh, six in total. Uh, so I thank my dad for always making these reviews possible, unboxings, whatever we're doing on the channel. Because without him, I don't know where I would be for making these videos so I appreciate him I love him to death so we take a look here at the tomato head figure show it off to you guys I have to get out of my chair to even grab the box my tripod is so far back if you guys do not know this is a 12 inch figure it is huge seven points of articulation posable victory series it is just huge age is a plus a little dented in this is the only box they had at Walmart, or the only figure, so I had to pick them up. I was like, 10 bucks is not a bad price, in my opinion, for a 12 inch figure. Epic Games logo, it's made head extra saucy, part of the Pizza Pit set. Very nice. Then there's the other characters Rust Lord, Black Knight, DJ Honor, Skull Trooper, and Cuddle Team Leader. Didn't have Cuddle Team Leader at my local Walmart, so maybe next time. Uh, but maybe it was picked out, I'm not very sure. More dropping soon, so I'm very excited for that. And, uh, hopefully we get some good ones. So let's unbox Tomato Head. So I didn't want to include that full unboxing there. It was a lot of work, actually. And I didn't want to put you guys through that torture of just sitting there and watching me unboxing it. But here he is, Tomato Head. I mean, just an awesome-looking figure. I'm, I'm just so surprised how Jazzwares actually did this. So if we take a look here at the color scheme... Um, I've done also, like I said, the past Tomato Head videos. I mean, this doesn't even compare to Funko, obviously, with the detail on Tomato Head. I mean, so his head does not move, if you guys want to know. Just underneath that there. Uh, you know, just hollow, just the neck area and all that. So that head does not move. But the mustache, looking just on point, the brown mustache, the eyes. So you can't turn his head sadly, like I said. But the eyes looking just amazing. The eyebrows and then top of the tomato nice smile going on looking very nice just a clean figure also the pizza logo on his chest um it may be a little bit it's just a little bit of not the best paint job on it there maybe just some missing paint there but overall that's pretty good right there not gonna lie and take a look at the back it doesn't have his back bling kind of upset by that but you know it is what it is, you know, $10 figure, it's just amazing looking there. His bandana on his arm, green, so I guess you could call this like, I guess in bluish green on him, uh, depending on the way it shows up on the camera, it could change his appearance, but then uh, purple around his neck there, I'd call this orange, you know, orange, I'd, eh, it's kind of a vest, obviously, I guess, so, his belt there too, gray, a little bit of bluish green, like I said. Now, his hands and his arms do move. So, if you want to pose him with his both hands up, his hands do move depending on which way you want to put him. Maybe he's grabbing something, holding an AR, maybe a shotgun. So, if maybe if you put his hands like that, it looks pretty cool. Just lay him like that for now. Put him up and down, like I said. Now, the only complaint I have probably about this figure, probably some of the paint job, I mean, some of it, uh, maybe in the back there, you know, a couple little dinks and all that, but that's expected, obviously. There, and then this here, maybe, you know, that's just jointed, so he can move, obviously, his legs, so his legs do move also, so, if you want to lift his one leg up to make him, like, look like he's kicking something, maybe a soccer ball at the soccer field, or if you want to pose him like he is just doing a squat, I mean, hey, you could do whatever you want, obviously. Just so cool. Amazing job. And then the shin guards look amazing. Very nice. And then that little patch there, I'm not very sure what did they do with that. But overall, very nice, man. Then just his boots brown. So however you want to pose your figure. Maybe you want to have him squatting. Holding his 
arms up and out. I mean, however you guys want to have it. I mean, you could pair them with the other ones. Now, I believe the other... So, that was the sixth one. So, the arms, two, and then the hands also. And then this would make it six with the legs. So, the other, like I said, seven points of articulation. Probably, maybe this to make him... He could kind of... Yeah, he could actually come in like that if you guys want to sit him like that. So, probably his, like, torso would count also. Trying to get him in the full shot there. He's so big, but... I'm just so impressed how Jazzwares... Uh, done with this tomato head figure. Probably the other ones are so cool too. I just put the head would move, but you know However, you want to pose your figure. I mean, it's up to you guys. Maybe you want to have his arms out And all that but you know just an amazing figure. I have no complaints So I'll probably hang this. No, excuse me not hang it. Display this on my desk. Oh, that's gonna fall I'm sorry guys. So there is the tomato head. Let me lift this up Put them in style. So cool looking. I'm going to display this very nicely. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys want to see more from me, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate a like and maybe a comment if you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll probably be back in my next video with the Jazz Blur's Loot Llama Birthday Pinata. Excuse me, Pinata. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.